Hey, how's it going, boys? Triple X Nooper Goober here, bringing you guys another Warno ranked 1v1. But today, it will be against a special opponent, Brickthags. He beats me a lot. Sometimes I beat him. In tournament settings, normally he destroys me. But on the ladder, I often take the upper hand. So, anyways, I'm playing first armored. He's playing seventh panzer. And uh, this is just going to be one big tank shit fight. It's going to be awesome. But uh, we'll go in from my perspective as per the usual because I'm playing the game. And uh, I want you guys to know what my thought process is by not being able to see anything. So I took super long to get set up. He had me. <laughs> he had me on the timer. Pretty funny. Anyways, so the deployments are well. The deployment for me is as such: Scouts Law 80, Spartan, and Semtar. So the Scouts Law 80 is to pop up here, and the Spartan is going to be just floating around in the back and trying to. Uh, well, it's just going to be waiting for my tanks to get up, so that way uh, it can spot for my tanks with its super cheap exceptional optics. 25 points, baller, baller unit. Simtar because Rardens are pretty damn cool and uh, my plan is with the the law 80 and the Simtar combined I can put some damage onto his uh, his recon maybe even kill it whatever it is And then I have javelin javelin LML uh, this game. I'm really going for the javelin spam And I feel like this map is particularly good for the javelins because of all the bushes that they can hide in. There are so many bushes, so many good uh, man pad traps you can set. And uh, yeah, but I go for the javelin OMLs over the, the rapier because once again, the rapier has a 2.5 or 2.8 second aim time. And uh, that's as long as it takes for a plane to put its guns on you, which I'm pretty sure if my memory uh, works right that uh, you can kill a rapier in two strafes so that's why I don't take those <laughs> and then uh, other things I got I got assault pioneers and two arm rifles and the warriors I got two chieftain mark 11s because I know this is gonna be a tank fight from, right from the get-go and then I got the stolly for supply to resupply my tanks of smokes because I'm sure I'm gonna use a lot of that over here, two javelins. They're gonna come up to my powerful man pad spot. Man pad spot. I like my favorite one on any map. I think. And then over here, I got assault right pioneers rifles, SAS patrols, scimitar, and sultan. And uh, I brought two CVs out because I didn't want him to bring two CVs out and have a lead on me, forcing me to push into him because he wants me to reverse slope him. And uh, I'm not gonna. I'm not. I'm not gonna get reverse sloped. I don't want to, <laughs> but uh, he, he'll be better on the defensive is basically what I'm saying. I have assault pioneers and rifles, pretty self-explanatory what they do. SAS patrol is up here. Uh, why SAS patrol and not law 80? Well, obviously it's going to be a CQC environment and I think the SAS patrol is pretty good at CQC. One centaur for some funny micro tricks. Uh, the first place I'm going to send my centaur up to, I know it says right there, but I'm really going to stop it like right here to try to shoot at any transports that he has coming a little bit too aggressively. I'm going to, I'm trying to really babysit all of my tanks and all of my IFVs. Uh, I'm trying to learn how to do that. I think it will make me a better player if I can micromanage my tanks and IFVs way better. So we are off Stolly's not moving what a shame and uh, I think I'll keep it on times two speed because this is a pretty interesting game but it still is quite long so special off player right there really expensive uh, recon squad 85 points Semtar push it up into this spot right here where hopefully it'd be hidden from any tank guns that can come up from over here and uh, it can provide fire onto there. So even though I didn't kill him, what am I doing? I'm denying him this building. This building is a really good recon spot. It can see all of that and all of this at the same time, which means now he might have a gap in his recon that I could exploit. Moving my arm rifles up forward to dismount. Uh, also, I wanted this assault pioneers right here just uh, to block off any type of moss from trying to get in there. 
Over here, first engagement's happening. I kill a SPW-70, and I think I killed an infantry unit, maybe? No, I didn't. But there's a special off glare, Masushin SVD. Now, the Masushin SVD, these guys are really nasty, so I want to I wanna watch out. I don't want to take that fight, especially since he's out numbering me. Anyways, in here we saw a, a tank leader of some sort, and... Well, that's not great, but uh, this is what I wanted to do. I wanted to do this armor platoon type of thing. Uh, basically, blob warfare. Yes, I am blobbing. I will not apologize for it either. T-72 leader is going to come up here. I know he's just going to try to pick off my uh, my IFVs, but it is pretty hard for him to obtain a line of sights. I know as long as I hold it around this corridor somewhere, I'll be fine, but he gets a little bit too close for my liking anyways, so I ended up mass smoking and then just retreating, just in case he has a shit ton of T-55s or something like that under there. I, I don't really know what's there, so I have to be careful with my armor because it's all very expensive. His is a lot less expensive, so he can throw caution to the wind a little bit. Anyways, I saw two T-72s right there, so I dropped bombs. Looks like I routed the fewer. The other one's heavily damaged and also high cohesion damage. So now's my time to push in. Javelin LMLs uh, just running across the field to try to defend me from the MI-24P. And uh, this was actually a really supply heavy, a really supply demanding game. And the reason why uh, British, I think British armor is more like supply demanding than other armored divisions because uh, the AA tab sucks. So unless you have two tornadoes circling about, uh, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to mass smoke your tanks every time a bomber pops up. Every time. So British armor is especially uh, supply demanding, I think, over the other divisions. And once again, I'm going to have to mass smoke. And doing these mass smokes is really detrimental to my uh, my supply. You'll see this one's already all out of supply, and all it did was re-smoke a lot of people. So I'm going to have to keep on bringing on supply trucks. Anyways, I'm not taking that engagement. I'm just going to sit back and allow my, uh, my logis to get here. What he wants me to do is he wants me to run down the hill at him while he gets fire support from his MI-24P on me. So I'm not going to take that engagement. It's not It's not in my favor. Over here, F4V32s screening for me. They're going to push away the Pioneer Flam and the Mossushin SVD. The Mossushin SVD the unit that I feared so much earlier has now became weak. Or not a threat, but a victim. Now I'm bringing out the Chinook supply because I realize, yo, I'm going to need a lot more supply. And you see this 1,000 point a thousand supply truck like all it did was uh resupply the smokes on every vehicle it didn't even start repairing them so i did kill the pioneer flam this fe 42 needs to be somewhere useful but uh i'm withdrawing my forces after seeing that maybe he's gonna think i have a uh, aa over here which i don't and uh i just let him kill the the little trucks he's also gonna try to go for the Pioneer, but he's not going to get it because I'm pulling it back and I left that Simtar in that one position that I was talking about earlier. And it's proving very useful. And it, it worked as AA right here, which is nice. And now I'm just upping my Javelin spam because I'm really concerned about what if he gets the bright idea to buy some SU-22s. He gets the bright idea to buy some SU-22s, it, I'm going to be screwed, certainly. So I have a lot of respect for him deciding, deciding to go down the, the the tank route. But if he was spamming his air on me like he's oh so capable of, um, it wouldn't be great. I feel like the only reason why he wasn't using aircraft in this game was because we played a previous game earlier today. And in that game, I was just all over him with air. So maybe it just left a bad taste in his mouth. Or maybe he thinks that I have better air micro than him. So he doesn't want to go that way. But it's interesting that he's not even using artillery. Like, he's not even using artillery for smokes to help him close the distance or anything like that. I'm actually going to be the first person to bring out artillery in the form of this Abbott because I thought this was a Conqueror's man, pet, man, man team over there. Man Conqueror's team. Or Toad Conqueror's. I mean, Conqueror's. 
the infantry to conquer squad. I thought that was over there. But I took a peek up over here and I saw the SPW. I thought it was my scouts revealing the SPW, but it's not. So I relocated my chieftain to the side of the hill to try to take out the SPW if I can. I do have an LML here ready to pounce on the MI-24P whenever the, the opportunity is presented. And I'm just going to reinforce this tree line with uh, rifles because the rifles have very good AT, like exceptionally good AT. But it turns out after in a little bit, you guys are going to see that I didn't really need to reinforce these guys at all. I could have gotten away with being greedy and buying another tank. First Challenger Mark III is on the field. And meanwhile, I have two Challenger Mark IIs over here with my Semtars and my Chieftains. And there we go. So I put the Assault Pioneers back up on this spot where they were seeing that, and then it goes away again. I, I don't know. I don't know, man. But there's just Conquerors that were there. I'm going to Artillery Strike them, and I have two Lynx Hell Rams coming out here just to help me mop up the spam because on an economic scale, like... I mean, not even on an economic scale. These are helicopters, and they have ATGMs. That's good against uh, cheap spam. It's really good against vehicle spam. I was trying to explain way too in-depth. Because the way I was thinking about it whenever I bought these helicopters, this is how I was thinking about it, okay? So I was like, hmm, what can I kill those D-55s with, potentially? And I was thinking to myself, more tanks? No. ATGMs on the ground? Also no. And why is that? Because those things are just going to die. And, uh, well, the helicopters are cheaper. So, that was my thought process. Over here, you see him poking him with his infantry. I'm going to destroy his screening force with my Rardens. The Rardens spam. And at the same time, these Lynxes are just going to keep on tearing into this little light tank platoon that he had back there. Monstruson has been spotted on the side over there. It's something I'm going to have to deal with, but for right now, I'm just going to run the Law 80 all the way back here. I don't want them to run to the edge of the forest, have the Monstruson push up onto them, and then they die trying to run away again. So I'm just going to run it as far back as I can, right off rip. So the Lynx is here, but so is the Swarm. Over here, a uh, little micro mistake I made. Uh, as soon as you get within tank gun range, you should really just stop your vehicle and let it aim and do the rest by itself. Or stop it and then Q attack it. Like, select a certain tank to shoot at. But that's a lot of T-72s, and I have a good bit of British armor over here. But the real heroes are going to be these Lynxes. You know, the Hell Rams are just laying hell into there, like, actually. And I think they're pretty good for fire support in these uh, armored engagements. Anyways, uh, first Chally dies. Oh, uh, there's a Chally over here that died? No, that was my Lynx. Anyways, first Chally dies, not good. Uh, I'm sure a Chieftain has already died as well. That was the Chieftain that died as well. But uh, I am ripping into his T-72 swarm a little bit. I'm sure he's losing tanks in these engagements, even though... Actually, no, he hasn't. His T-72 micro is really on point. He hasn't lost a, a single one of them yet, which is terrifying. Over here, I pushed these guys up a little bit too close. Uh, I thought I thought that he wasn't going to have anything there. I thought they were going to still be hiding back here in this corner. Chieftain Mark 11 gets side shot by the 272, puts it down on 2 health. I need to immediately remove that from the uh, battlefield. In the meantime, though, artillery is going down over here. I'm dealing with that. And then at the same time, I want you guys all to know that I caught this out the corner of my eye. Now take a mental note of that. I took caught that out of the corner of my eye. So over here, I'm focused on trying to put my tanks into uh, sort of defensive positions if he comes around this corner. This is a really bad spot, though, because he can push through this force and already be within his gun range. And I want to be able to get the first shot off. That's my big advantage, right? In the meanwhile, I have more challengers coming up over here. But, you see all these red lines in that red circle? That's artillery. So I took note of him having, uh, was him having been amassing units over there. So I just selected my artillery, pressed fire right there, and then press Z for return fire. And now what I'm going to do is as soon as I see infantry walking through here, I'm going to press Z again, and then it's going to fire. 
and uh, that is a really good artillery is actually really useful for these infantry force fights it's really good when used in this way you can set up a lot of traps with it you can like you will just obliterate infantry in the forest with artillery especially if they're clumped up if it's clumped up too the more clumped basically the more units he has in a specific area the better right so here we go took him off hold fire we'll put this on plus one so that way you guys can just see how much damage it does they're coming down now and uh well this force would be something i would be absolutely terrified of but the artillery is coming down and it's doing a lot of suppression damage to these guys even if it's not doing too much damage this monster squad's almost dead from the art artillery alone though and at the same time i've been amassing uh infantry over here but we're going to need to pull back over to this side of the map because that's a whole lot of red. So let's uh, pause. Let's do this. Let's take account for everything that's here right now. So we got six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve T-72s with some BMPs and uh, Cubs and Strellas right here. Twelve T-72s versus one Chieftain. Two challengers, three challengers, four challengers, five challengers, two chieftains, five challengers, and then I have another chieftain over here. So three chieftains and five challengers versus 12 T-72s. He has some uh, helos here too. And uh, we'll see how this goes. Uh, another thing I want to take a note of right now is him doing this ball right here. This wasn't necessarily to get into my zone as I see it because uh i've noticed that he he likes to do a lot of feints right so he 100 percent expected me to be amassing infantry over here as well but he also expects me to d divert a lot of my attention over here when he assaults so that way he can come across over here and fight me over here before i pay attention which is a very 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 good uh good way to play and it's a really smart thing to do so we're putting this in times one going back to my perspective okay so we're shooting notice how the strellas are coming up first and uh a lot of the challengers are missing their first couple shots but two of them wasted their shot on that one strella and then again another miss on the strella and then finally it died how many shots was that how many tank rounds was that that it took to kill the strella like four or five not good this chieftain needs to smoke and leave immediately anyways my ball is continuing forward but he is on a reverse slope right here which means that as soon as i uh push out from this angle that i'm trying to fight on i'm going to get engaged now i thought to myself yellow swag 420 blaze it let's do that and it was good so two t72s are down and I think he's only down to five concurrently, now four. And my chieftains and challengers are still pressing on. They've taken a lot of damage, sure. They've taken a lot of cohesion damage and everything like that. But they are still going and they're still shooting. This chieftain over here has been able to block off this tank. And two of those other tanks over there had initially gotten diverted to fight this chieftain three on one. And uh, with this one on the flank, I was able to get him to divert a lot of forces from focusing over here. Meanwhile, Hellram, being awesome, kills a BMP-1, and then dies. This chieftain, the lone chieftain, is still soloing that T-72 right there. I have lost uh, how many challengers? One, two challengers. One of those might have been a chieftain. But uh, I have three other tanks back here sitting, repairing and the rifles were right here the rifles performed quite poorly against the t-72s i expected them to actually be one v one ing the t-72s mostly and just killing them but that's not what happened over here uh just q moved and i won because of the artillery and the entire time i've been micring over here now these strellas are yellow swagging their way up to try to kill my hell ramps which i completely understand but i do still have a chieftain here luckily for me Oh god, it takes so long to shoot. 
So it kills Estrella before he gets hit by BMP1 and then dies because it takes forever to reload and fire. And it also always misses its first shot, is what it seems. So he's pushing me over here, and he's coming down the middle with some more uh, mech, mech, mech spam. And uh, that's an issue. But over here I've realized, hey, he has nothing else here. There, I'm full sending, go. That's going to be my zone now. And then the same thing over here, I unlimited his contingent that was in the forest with my reinforcements. It only took uh, two arm rifles, two warriors Milans, a scout slot 80, assault pioneers, and an F4 V32. And I was able to kill everything in there, which is quite a quite a lot. Anyways, over here, this chieftain gets absolutely dicked on, incapable of defending itself, little turd. Bye. Dead. What a shame. SPW being annoying coming after my javelins, also trying to give him constant vision on my tanks. But a lot of my tanks have already repaired, so I'm able to push them up now and do what it does. Now at this point, I don't play tanks a lot, so I don't really know. But I realized, hey, I'm shooting at his moss station. I need to be shooting at his BMPs. So I start targeting the BMPs. And uh, I'm trying to eliminate them. Because if he can keep, like, the amount of... The amount of ATGMs he's eating across at me is just like I can't I can't let him keep those ATGM carriers alive. Another big ball of moss fusion that's a terrible threat, but lucky for me my Jaguar just came off of uh, cooldown, so I'm gonna go ahead and use him. And uh, in the meanwhile I'm still pushing forward trying to take out his BMPs. And then I'll worry about the moss fusion after the BMPs are dead. Now I have a swarm of hell arms coming in because I bring two cards in uh, this deck because I think they're really good and uh, they are really good. But uh, his his IVs over here are what I want to kill and the T55 with these hell arms. And uh, I guess I when I ordered them I really overestimated the size of his force. I thought this attack was going to be way more painful than it was, but that's the end of it. He GG's out. Anyways, that was a great game. I had a lot of fun birth eggs, and uh, yeah, it was just cool. It was just cool to see how the the Chowies matched up against the T-72s. I thought the Chowies were pretty weak, but I guess my opinion has been swayed. They are still okay against a tank half its price. <laughs> yeah, pretty cool, pretty cool. So, Chieftain, this guy got a lot of kills. Link's Hell Arms did a lot of work too. Scimitar did pretty good. That was the one I deployed on the, the right flank earlier. If you really micro those type of units, you can get a lot from them, especially the recon ones. Especially. Like the recon BMP2, any recon auto cannon you can get. If you micro it hard, you can get a lot out of it. Uh, something I noticed from people playing the LEVs, they make their LEVs do everything and they just micro the shit out of it. But I mean, the LEV is really good too, so it makes it a lot easier. Like, you're not always going to be getting good performance out of Scimitars. And I think that one that I, I deployed to the middle had survived for a while too. I wonder how many kills it got. It did end up killing that special off layer that was more expensive than it. And it survived for a little bit after that, providing recon. So, great value from that. T-72. <laughs> Good work with the T-72. Yeah. Anyways... Um, one more note, I feel like if he did bring out mortars and was like smoking down in front of his pushes, it would have been, uh, way better for him. I feel like he could have created a lot of opportunities for himself to win in that way. But, as it stands, it was still a really fun game. Really cool, big tank fight. If you guys enjoyed this, please leave a like, comment, and sub. See you in the next one.